Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the review for WWE Superstars, August 13, 2009. Now, the first match was John Morrison versus David Hart Smith. Now, David Hart Smith is a bit overpowered. And it, John Morrison is, like, more, like, more flexible. Not flexible, oh my god, flexible. Like, he has more agility. He can, like... Dave Hartsman is like, I don't know, how can I, t t he's like more of a Ted DiBiase sort of guy. He doesn't, he's not that like crazy over the top ropes and stuff. I'm not saying John Morrison over the top ropes, but you know what I'm saying. We all know that Natalia, she came out with Dave Hartsman, she should be in the back, but that's part of the storyline. Now, the best point for this match was for me was the Morrison kick to the face. No, the Morrison, he, um, John Morrison kicked David R. Smith right in the face. But the first one, not the second one. That was the best point for me. Now, no, now the third thing I want to talk about in this match is Morrison was getting booed. Now, I don't know if they were in the hometown of David R. Smith, but I thought he was a good guy now. Maybe they're just not up to date? I don't know. The second match was Sheamus versus Goldust. Now this is a repeat match, the third encounter. We know these types of these types of matches they get boring after a while because we've seen them so many times. So now this this match was kind of ironic because it's Irish person versus gold. I think I think that we knows that because they they referred to that yet last week and. Um, and the point, the, my favorite point of the match was the Irish whip. They both Irish whipped each other, and then a duel, and then they kicked both, and then they kicked each other right in the face, and then they went down. I forgot to tell you who won the first match. John Morrison won, won the first match with his signature move, and for the second match, Goldust won with an inside cradle. And she was like, I can't believe it, how did he win? Uh, the, th the third and final match was Carlito and Rose Mendez versus Kobe Kingston and Mickey James. Now, I don't know if this is meant to be, but when Carlito's hair is up, he's a good guy. When Carlito's hair is down, he's a bad guy. It's funny. And, uh, Co Carlito and Rose Mendez won this match. But Kobe, I don't know. He could have been much better in this match. He did more dancing than actual wrestling. That's weird. I rate the first match 2 out of 5, the second match a 4 out of 5, and the third match a 2 out, a two out of 5. I would have liked Sheamus vs. Goldust the last match. Because the, it just it t it took up like 25 minutes. They only had 3 matches last night. That's it. John Morrison vs. David Archimed, Sheamus vs. Goldust, and Carlito, Carlito and Rose Mendes vs. Kobe Kingston, and Mickey James. Now, I have to give you a sneak peek from next week. Um, next week's Raw. The upcoming Raw. The guest host on Raw will be Freddie Prince Jr. Now, I don't know if everybody knows this, but Freddie Prince Jr. was a writer on the WWE creative team that writes like the scripts and where characters are going. Well, he's somewhat in the business. But nevertheless, I will do a review of Raw because he's still an actor. So I will do a review of Raw though. I will do a review of Raw on the the I don't know what the ninth or the sixteenth, not even sure what day it is today. And guess what? The epic failure of Raw is, is has a 95% chance of hosting after Freddie Prince Jr. Can you guess who it is? I know you can't. Mike Adamley. Yes. There's a 95% chance of him hosting after Freddie Prince Jr. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a review of that. This, I do want my dad and Lindsay to guess host. You know why? 
botch after botch after botch after botch. I love botching. I just love it. So, well, well, I don't know. I don't know if they'll, uh, when he comes back, I don't know if they'll m make the botches on purpose because they they already saw what he did and so they're going to do it again. But it was either Mike Animal or mm, Fl Floyd Mayweather. Mike Animal already told the media that he's going to guest host. So, see that. This W Superstars, it wasn't that great because it was only three matches. So I rate the August 13th edition of W Superstars uh, a 2 out of 5. Because only three matches. Last week they did six matches. Okay. So rate, comment, and if you subscribe. Thanks, thanks. First of all, thanks for subscribing beginning of the net, beginning of the end. Thank you. And now, <coughs> and now, anybody, please subscribe because I will be doing these reviews. I will be doing these reviews because I want to see these crazy guest hosts, and I'll be reviewing superstars as well as Raw. Thanks for watching.